Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews, night 19 of the 31 Days of Horror. What I saw today was uh, <laughs> the Halloween new movie, the new Halloween movie. Um, I'm calling it right now. Uh, between this and Hereditary, I'm having a really hard time deciding my favorite movie of the year. Because, honestly, this new Halloween is perfect. It's an absolute perfect sequel. And it's very rare that you find a genuinely perfect sequel. I think, like, like what do you have? There's, like, Terminator 2. There's Godfather 2. Maybe Aliens. It can be, it could be argued Aliens. I mean, uh, it's a bit of a different genre, but still. Uh, but this is perfect. It's a masterpiece. I, I'm, I almost want to create a level above S-Class just for a movie like this. But this is a complete S-Class film. All the acting worked. I believed every single character. There was no one overly annoying, which is always a good thing. Um, the the kills were really good, really brutal, which which I, I really I really liked that. <laughs> um, the cinematography was great. Honestly, it looks how can I put this? If you had these two movies playing back to back without any credits, you know, um, and and you said to someone, you know, guess like. Like, was this the same director that directed both? I, most people, I think, would say yes. It has that feel of the original John Carpenter Halloween. And it's awesome. It really is. I am beyond... Let's put it this way. My faith in humanity has been restored with this movie. You know, and this just proves, you know, uh, people need to give uh, Blumhouse um, more of these big properties. You know, give them Nightmare on Elm Street. Give them Friday the 13th. Hell, give them Hellraiser. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Give them all to them. Because they... S if this is any indication... It's awesome. It really is. And the soundtrack... Oh my god. The soundtrack is pure bliss on its own, you know, uh, and I tell you what, I, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but about three quarters of the way through, there's a bit of a twist that happens, and honestly, I did not see it coming, it happened, I was like, you know, now, I'm usually pretty good at seeing a twist coming, you know, usually it's one of those things like I see it a mile away coming. But this one, it took me for a complete loop. I, I wasn't expecting it one bit, and then it happened, I was kind of like, wow. Like, yeah. Um, this movie is a guaranteed classic. You know, honestly, and... I dig also the fact that they changed Michael Myers' con connection to Laurie Strode. I mean, yeah, it's always been, like, the classic thing, you know, like, he's her brother and goes after her and everything. But I like that they just turned it back to, you know, this guy has no real reason for what he's doing. Like, like, you see him, like, he'll be walking down the street, and then, like, he'll just be like, Oh, okay. I'm gonna kill that one. It's just, it's, it's so random. And it makes it genuine, it makes Michael Myers genuinely scary again. I mean, and also, you can almost consider this, like, how can I put this? It's almost like they, they took the brutality of the Rob Zombie Michael Myers, 
and they took the the nothingness of the shape from the original, you know, and put them together, and you come up with something that's just genuinely kind of terrifying. And I really dig the new mask as well. Um, at first, I wasn't super hyped on it, but um, I, I really dug it. I mean, so much so, I think I'm probably going to be going to see this again in the next couple of days, and then maybe a few days after that as well. Um, yeah. You know, maybe it's just my my love of the Halloween series, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm saying it. Um, this is the best movie of 2018. Followed very closely by Hereditary. You know, um, and like I said, that just could be the fact that I'm a big Halloween fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll find a trailer, leave it below, but, um... If you've, if you've been on the fence about seeing this new Halloween, it is perfect. The only way this movie could have been more perfect would have been if you got John Carpenter to direct it. That's the only way. And honestly, like I said, I think that some people would be hard-pushed to... The style is just so similar. I think, I think some people would be hard-pushed to be able to say, well, this is the John Carpenter one, and this is, like, someone else. But, yeah, so take that for what you will. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. See you next time.